Hello everybody, Philip here. Welcome on Metric Geo. And uh, today I'm going to explain the process of occlusion. And uh, I have a few diagrams that I've drawn that I would like to share with you because I, you know, I believe that if you see something, it's easier for you to understand it and memorize it, you know. So the few diagrams that I have, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, because right now, it's very easy for me to say it with the words, but I think you will understand better if you see the diagrams. Because in words, the story is very short and uh, the story has uh, confused a lot of people for many, many years. So if I was to say it in words, I would just say um, occlusion is when the cold front catches up with the warm front because cold air is faster than warm air. So as we know, the cold air is dense and therefore uplifts the warm air in the warm sector. Eventually, the warm sector is completely uplifted. Therefore, the two fronts will merge. That is the occlusion front. That is how it is formed. That occluded front, that occlusion stage. When the two fronts merge, when the cold front catches up with the warm front and they're merged together. That is the occluded front. That is the story in the words. That is what you write in a paragraph. Let me say it again. When the cold front catches up with the warm front because cold air is faster than warm air. And then cold air is dense. Therefore, it uplifts the warm air from the warm sector. So eventually, the warm sector is completely uplifted off the surface. Then the cold front merges with the warm front. That is the occluded front. Okay, guys, uh, before I jump into the occlusion part, the, here is a, uh, an explanation that I would like you to understand. This is something that I came up with on my own uh, I've never seen it anywhere. I hope it makes things easier. I'd like you to know this first before I jump into the explanation. So as you can see, the green dot here represents uh, cold air and the blue dot warm air. So I have scenario one, scenario two. The direction of the air is the same in both scenario one, scenario two, right? So here I'm saying what happens when warm air catches up with cold air? And here I'm saying what happens when cold air catches up with warm air. This is what happens. So when the warm air catches up with the cold air, cold air is denser, so it's heavier, right? And the warm air is light. So the warm air overrides the cold air. These are two different masses. They do not mix. These are two different air masses. They do not mix. Just like water and oil. When you put them in the same container, one goes up, one goes down. The heavier goes down and the lighter one goes up. It's the same thing. The light warm air overrides the cold and dense air. And in scenario two, it's the opposite. When the cold air catches up with the warm air, the cold air is heavier than the light air so it undercuts it goes under the warm air there that is where upliftment happens right when it goes under the warm air then pushes the warm air up that is upliftment so when warm air catches up with cold air it overrides when cold air catches up with warm air it undercuts and goes under it all right so now let's come to occlusion so this is uh the mature stage normal stage right so it all begins here right so uh, like i have said here in the cold sector the cold air is dense it's cold it's fast than the air that is right here in the warm sector it's light and it's slow right simply which simply means that this cold front is going to move faster than the warm the warm front that is the story here so as the cold front gets closer to the warm sector it becomes like this right so you see that the cold front is moving faster than the warm front 
right because as it gets closer from here as it gets closer from here all this air that was here the light air is uplifted by the cold dense air from the cold sector so the whole air that was here is uplifted coming this side right so now you can see that the warm sector is now small it's the size that was used right because the air is being uplifted by the cold air from the cold sector so once once the whole air well, once the warm air in the warm sector is uplifted i mean all of it that is where the merging occurs to this this is what becomes of it once this air right here in the warm sector has been uplifted off the surface all of it the warm sector once it's uplifted this is what happens and this is your occluded front right here this is how you see the occluded front right here uh, you can see that you have the triangles and the semicircles triangle and the semicircles right and then this is that is how the process of occlusion occurs right so i'm going to do this again mature stage this is where it begins the process that leads to occlusion is the fact that the cold air is faster than the warm air therefore this cold front is going to move faster than the warm air, the warm front so this cold front is going to move faster towards the what the warm front which means as it moves towards here the cold air uplifts the warm air it goes up off the surface right so and then the warm sector becomes smaller as the air is being uplifted as the cold front is getting closer the air is uplifted the cold front gets closer until the warm sector is completely uplifted until there is no air right here and then what happens occlusion occurs this is what happens this is your occluded front right here i hope you understand the process you just have to know that the cold front moves faster than the warm front that is how the merges comes to life because once the air in the warm sector is completely uplifted then your occlusion occurs right and then the question goes deeper into we have the cold front occlusion and the warm front occlusion so sometimes they ask you uh but i have i for myself haven't seen the one for the warm front yet like in the question papers the one that usually comes is the cold front occlusion and the one that i just explained right now and then the warm front occlusion is this one the difference now for the warm front occlusion the you can the 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 easiest way to notice which one is the home front occlusion, which one is the cold front occlusion, is to look at which front is on the ground. As you can see here, this is the cold front that is on the ground, and then here it's the warm front that is on the ground. That is how you see the warm front and the warm front occlusion and the cold front occlusion, right? So the difference right here again is the fact that here in the cold sector the air is colder right here right and then it's a it's cool saying that uh so for the warm front occlusion the warm air and the colder air ahead warm air behind the cold front right so as the warmer air catches up with the colder air like i said the warm light air is going to override the colder air ahead of the warm front as it overrides it means that what the air this cold front is going to be what to be uplifted and the warm front with the cold denser air is going to remain what on the surface resulting in this warm front occlusion but you do not have to worry about this one you i'm just explaining that you know that there are two different types of occlusion but the one that usually comes in the exam is uh the cold front occlusion that i have explained again and again and again and i hope that uh you understood these diagrams right here well so now that uh you have taken a look at those diagrams i am going to go over it again i need to make sure that you understood so if a paragraph questions come saying that you should explain how the 
occlusion stage occurs or how the occluded front is formed so you are simply saying that the cold front the cold front catches up with the warm front why because the cold air is faster than the warm air in the warm sector right so this warm air is uplifted by the cold air since the cold air is denser or heavier than the warm light air in the warm sector so as this air is uplifted the cold front is getting closer and closer and closer so there comes a time eventually when the air in the warm sector is completely uplifted that will result in the merging of these two fronts resulting in the occluded front i hope